Good morning. I had a I had a non-gentle parenting morning. It was rough, Brody. It was rough. And then Jay forgot his violin. Mm. I don't know if this comes across on screen to you guys, but Jaden is like the sweetest human being that's walking this earth, okay? It's just ingrained in him. And it's hard teaching these kids lessons sometimes. Because Jay's like, oh. this, that was not even the issue this morning. We had other issues this morning. But then he's like, I forgot my violin. And like, he never forgets his violin, but obviously the whole morning was a wreck. And he obviously forgot it, like, you know, in the kerfuffle of whatever. And I was like, well, I'm not bringing it. Like, it's, you need to be responsible. School's the only thing that matters. You need to have clothes for school. You need to make sure your stuff is charged. You need to da 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 da, you know? Like, trying to teach these kids responsibility. But then at the same time, I'm like, I should just go drop the violin off. Well, I took the violin. <laughs> I just got back. Uh, I took my coffee with me. And yeah, but you know what that, this whole morning made me think is that I could easily have just popped on the camera right now and been like, good morning guys. So today I don't have a lot of plans. I'm probably gonna be sitting here, I don't know, working like all day, which is not very fun. So we'll see what we get into. I do need to place some Instacart orders. I am gonna do a Costco one. I'm tempted to let, do you know what I'm saying? Like I could have just jump right into the regular stuff. And it just kind of goes to show, like Vlogmas is interesting because I have had to edit, not edit out, but I've purposefully not included, you know, I don't include like the lows. I, I don't because it's not, it's not fun to watch. <laughs> it's not, um, but it just kind of reminds me how easy it is like to be duped kind of by what you see. I could have easily, you know, I, I I pulled into the garage and I'm like bawling in the car like because I'm so frustrated and then I come in the house and then I'm like, all right, <clears throat> let's, let's, let's get on the internet. Like, it, but it's really easy to just gloss over it all and then to be able to think that everyone else like doesn't have to go through things and et cetera, et cetera. And, um, or just believe people and like take them at face value when you never know. But you know, sometimes people are trying to manipulate you for their own personal gain in some way. And I think it can get very tricky, especially when you're talking about media, social media or whatever, like media period. Media has always been around to manip manipulate people. It's kind of like just what it is. And I think a lot of people are smart enough to critically think about things, um, but a lot of people simply don't have the capacity to critically think about everything, but they wanna have an opinion on everything. And so your opinion is formed based off of what people tell you is the right way to feel. And when enough people do that, then it, it's it's detrimental, I would say, overall. But anyway, that's a whole different conversation for a whole different day. And it's, I think, more than one conversation. <laughs> um, but I don't have much to do today, guys. I am going to be working all day. So I have some things that I want to get edited, like some reels and stuff like that. I'm, I'm just going to edit what I have and I'm gonna post it, and the more I edit and the more I post, the better I'm gonna get at knowing what I want to film, and knowing, you know, I'll just get a better feel for it. Just because I'm so used to obviously doing YouTube videos, but I'm not as used to doing short form content, so I'm not super comfortable in it yet, but the fact of the matter is that I need to do it. Um, because this is my job. If this wasn't my job, I wouldn't need to do it. But because it's my job, I do need to do it. So I'm gonna work on that all day. I do have an Instacart order that I'm going to be placing. Um, I was tempted to go to Costco, but I feel like that's going to take hours of my day and I just don't have it in me. So I'm going to go sit my buttons down. I am listening to the heiress gets a duke and uh, the heiress just got the duke. Okay. Like pretty early on the heiress got the duke and uh, I was like, whoa, I pulled up to the school and all of a sudden she's talking about nipples and I was like, whoa, we're in like chapter six. What's going on? What's going on? That's that's 
chapter 30 talk, okay? That's not chapter six talk. So, uh, no, apparently not, not in this one. So this is untraditional. This is not like a, a fully traditional like romance book that I'm used to reading. So I dig it so far. I dig that it's different. Uh, we'll see where it goes. I'm not connecting with any of the characters at this point, but we'll see where it goes. I'll probably sit here and watch Roseanne though, if I'm being honest, so. Let's get to work, y'all. Hopefully your uh, work, your work, your week is kicking off nicely. For you, it's Tuesday. Wednesday. Ah, can't believe Christmas is in less than a week. I'm really excited. You know, I love watching the kids open their gifts. I love sitting there with my cup of coffee and my little smile and my little pajamas and mm-hmm. Sure did get you that thing you didn't think I was gonna get you. Except it doesn't really hit the same anymore because I've done it so many years in a row that the kids are like, Mom, we know you're gonna get us the thing that you said you weren't gonna get us like mom and I'm like you know what I'm gonna give you a couple years where you don't get it just so you start feeling like ooh, am I gonna get it again but I don't know if I can handle the disappointment on their faces <laughs> all right I'm done working my Costco order got here like an hour ago <laughs> well I'm not done working but I'm upgrading upgrading updating updating that's the word. Updating my computer so I can't work on it at this very moment so let's go get these groceries and I'm gonna put back on this book the heiress gets a duke. Yes. Hey. There are two pops missing. And I have no packages. Why am I missing two drinks but I have no packages? Oh, the Instacart people. <laughs> okay, well, that took me a minute. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> it reminds me of that girl that makes fun of the Kardashians. Was she even making fun of them? I feel like she's even making fun of them at this point. They're besties. Um, let me show you real quick what I got. Speaking of groceries and how ridiculously expensive they are, we weren't talking about that, but we should be uh, because I love to commiserate with you guys. <laughs> um, did you see the girl online? I don't know. I saw one of her videos and she was like, oh, I had groceries in 2007. I went and bought the same groceries again. And she like put them in her cart online. And she's like, uh, back then they were like $70. And today the exact same cart would cost me, I want to say it was like $250, something crazy. And I was like, girl, that's, that's wild. So we got the shrimp cocktail. I like the cilantro lime ones, but I'm going to wash that. Don't judge me. But, um, Nala likes the plain ones. So I like to have these and we just kind of snack on them for like two days or so. And then they're usually gone. Got some green grapes cause they're the best fruit ever. Jaden asked for some fruit snacks and, uh, I don't know, I guess I just have a lot of guilt about being a non-gentle person today. 90, no, I'm just playing. That's not, <laughs> he didn't want them, but I got that pack because they are cheaper. A six pack of mangoes, cause the kids love them. Blackberries, because both kids will eat these versus Nala eating raspberries, Jaden eating blueberries. They will come together on blackberries, which is lovely. And then a thing of strawberries. They look all right too. All right, all right, you never know. And then I got this thing of chicken breast, cheese and crackers. I thought I was ordering turkey. Womp, womp, womp. Whatever, chicken's the same thing. Okay, <laughs> not that a turkey would say that. A new pack of the fully cooked bacon. We're gonna take this out and put it in one of those containers. And then I got this thing of salmon. Um, I liked it last time I got it, and Lewis liked it too. So I bought another one. And then I thought this was gonna be twice the size. Like, you know, it's hard to bulk shop. Like if you're not used to going to the store and buying these items, you don't know how much of it you're really going to get unless you're seriously paying attention, which clearly I'm not. And I thought this was going to be twice the amount of butter for the price. Cause I want to say it was something $18. Does that sound too much? $15? I don't know. It felt like a lot though. So that's crazy. I'm just going to throw that in the freezer and then boom, Nala takes these every day for lunch. So I didn't realize it was gonna be two, but I should have assumed because it's Costco, duh. So I'm just gonna throw one in the freezer and then throw one in the fridge. And then I got another giant pack of the sticky rice. We are not out, but I don't like to have to buy them at the grocery store because they, like the regular store, because they cost more obviously when you do them individually. They're like these little bowls and Jay takes one almost every day for uh, lunch at school. And then we really needed garbage bags and I really needed sandwich bags. But the other bags, I figure I might as well get a huge one, right? And then just keep it in the bathroom closet until I need it. That's like my overflow closet. And then these I hadn't bought in forever, but I want the kids to be a little bit more responsible with cleaning their own bathrooms and stuff. Like I realize that I hire a cleaning crew every few weeks, but 
they need to be on it anyway because they're exceptionally dirty sometimes and that is really great especially in the basement too so I have all the little things and all the little wands I have one in every single bathroom so I just needed some refills because I haven't bought those since I got them which was over a year ago a year and a half ago I don't know so I'm gonna put this stuff away I'm gonna put some of it in our containers though look oh and I did end up writing out the kids chores I'm missing two things the kitchen's kind of all-encompassing it involves other thing and water means different thing Nala fills that water. Jaden fills that water. They both fill that water. Kind of depends on the day. But we're going to take these out. This was almost full yesterday, but because I washed and plucked off all the grapes, the kids ate a bunch of them because that's how it works around here. And then this has the bacon from last week, but I'm going to switch it out of here into the bigger one. And then we're going to use that for some fruits and veggies and whatever. I got to figure out exactly what I'm making today. Oh, I need to clean that too. Oh, you know what? I bought this on Thanksgiving, dog. That's mold. That's what I thought. <laughs> okay. I knew that should be moldy. And it is. Well, the bacon fit in there like perfectly. And now the other one is empty <laughs> because I put the grapes back in here. I really don't like this container. I shouldn't have bought this one. I mean, it's just because I have too much for it. So like, it, like that's where it's at. <laughs> Because the lid has like a, it's a little deeper than what I'm used to. It also doesn't really click in. I get that it's trying to do something with this stuff. And you have to like repurchase these parts, but meh, I don't like it. And then I put blackberries in here. I really like these ones though. I like that they stack. I dig it. I dig it. I dig it. I dig it. These are the grapes that we already had. And you know what? Strawberries have no business looking this good. They look so good. But then tasting like meh. Like they have, they have no business being this beautiful. And then you just take it all off and you taste it. And it's like, oh, it's giving nothing. Lovely. I mean, I'm sure it's out of season for these two. But these ones are exceptionally just blah. Hey, hey, hey. It's magic. <laughs> I finally got done with all of the grocery stuff. That actually took me longer than usual. Um, I don't know why. I think I'm just moving slowly today. It's Monday, girl. That's just what we do. I, I, it's a good day because I got to wear like sweatpants and one of my classic hoodies. And look, now I'm gonna have like a little pink cup to go with it too. No makeup day. It's a good day, it's a good day. This was the cup from my cousin's shop. I'll show it to you when I put stuff in it. Um, I think I messed something up when I moved this thing. Cause it's been fussing with me and I don't know what I'm doing. But anyway, it just made some ice, but you can see it's like, ah, Coco, I dropped the ice cube if you want to play with that. Let's do a little vanilla latte. That's not what I meant at all. I meant a vanilla iced coffee. I want a very exact amount of creamer because I'm so off my iced coffee game that I have just been like, not doing a great job. I'm gonna do exactly three tablespoons because that's like the money spot. There we go. All right, three tablespoons right there. Now we're gonna go in with our Stoke World's Best Coffee. I, okay, so for work, companies like to know like, hey, have you ever convinced folks to try this brand or that brand or this product or that product? And I was chatting with my folks and I was like, oh, I've definitely convinced some people to try Stoke iced coffee. And they were like, well, do you have any figures for that? And I was like, no, I don't link it, you know, cause it's at the grocery store. Um, so now I'm just curious, have I ever convinced you in all of these years to try not just Stoke, but any coffee product? Have I ever been the catalyst for it? That's the question. Have I ever been the catalyst for it? Um, if the answer is yes, let me know. <laughs> but I like the top of this. This is different than the one I have from, uh, this one's like thicker. Speaking of thick glasses, the ones that I bought from Crate that I love, I think they're called Atwell. They look like this. I just bought the ones till I finish, you know, my little collection broke that this morning immediately broke it first thing i did when i came down was break it i think that was like the starting point of us having a rough morning and then it just was exacerbated by the other things that happened but um anyway then this one this cup came with a straw 
and I was picking up all of the stuff, the garbage, from the Costco order and I grabbed the straw by mistake because it was in plastic still and I went and I went to throw it out and I dropped it and it shattered because of course it's glass. So um, super fun, having a fun time with glass today. Have I ever convinced any of you guys? I mean, I have a bunch of glass straws, so. Oh, but of course, are they gonna fit? I don't wanna like shove it in if it's not, it's gonna fit. You can take it, girl. You can take it. Oh, I don't know if you can take it, girl. It's your first time after all. I've never used you before. Maybe it's air, maybe it's the air situation. No, you can't take it, girl. That's okay, don't worry, I got a skinny one for you. It's a little longer, but it's also a little crooked. <laughs> you like that, you little nasty freak. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that you have to be a part of this with me. But anyway, yeah, if I've ever convinced you to try Stoke or any other coffee or whatever, any random thing that I would have never linked, I would never link this. I would never link this. I don't link coffee syrup, but it doesn't have to be coffee related, but I'm just curious. Because like on the back end, it. It's, it's great to work with brands and stuff that you already like and that people that follow you already like. So really you can just share information or share codes or share something like that that would be mutually beneficial to you as a viewer, me as a creator. And um, the thing is that with a lot of very natural, 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 natural things, like it's very much a natural thing for me to talk about Stoke for the last five, six, seven years. Like I don't link it. I don't, it's not a thing. Oh, look at this new, it's not. It's just something that I'm doing every single day because it's what I like. This is my favorite creamer of life, period. And so I have to be, I personally, this is not on y'all. I gotta be a little bit more strategic in how I share things. But at the same time, I'm not gonna be strategic. Talk about coffee. It's my love. It's what I love. I love it. I almost, in my brain, I was about to throw this at the sink. Like it's not made out of glass. Look how cute it is. I love it. I hope she, I'm sure she's gonna come out with other ones like for Valentine's Day and stuff. She's coming out with some really cute stuff. Um, it's for, like, I, I think I said, it's from my cousin's shop. She does a bunch of different stuff, but she'd, uh, she'd left her job when her brother died my cousin, right, earlier this year. Uh, it was really, really hard on the family. It was very unexpected. And I think it's super cool that she was able to like find another avenue, something else she could do to get her mind off of it. And also, um, you know, make something be creative and produce an income for herself and her family. So pretty dope. I know she's really saying Valentine's Day stuff too. So I'll have to, uh, I'm sure I'll scoop some stuff up. She was like, I should have delivered the, uh, cause I, I just ordered it on the website and she said, I should have delivered it now that she saw the delivery table I have outside. <laughs> I was like, that delivery driver went home with a Kit Kat that day. Okay. I'm just letting you know. I'm going to use, we use the dough for the kids. It's hot still. Kind of hot. Not too crazy hot. I split it into two pizzas. So this is Nala's pizza on this. This is how I normally walk. That is how I normally walk. Just, like, I can attest to that. So the cauliflower pizza crust is what I'm going to give a go to. I have never had this one. I like this one. Like I can. I I, that one. Did I? Did I like it? I buy the, the egg thin things. They look very similar. They're just, Yes, I and I ate them. So I'm gonna make a pizza out of this and we're gonna see how it goes. I'm not really gonna put much on it though. I think I'm just gonna do like cheese and sauce. All right, here goes nothing with this cauliflower crust. I like regular crust, but I do like cauliflower alternatives to things um, like half of the time. Sometimes they're just really bad. Something makes me feel like this is just gonna taste exactly like the egg thin. It's not called an egg thin. It's called like a cauliflower thin and they're like, use it for a sandwich, use it for a blah, blah, blah. Nice machines making weird noises. Okay, it tastes pretty good, but it does not taste like there's anything underneath all the toppings. It just tastes like, it, it just tastes like, just tastes like toppings. The edges started getting really crispy, so I took it out because I didn't want them to burn, but the underneath part doesn't get like crispy at all. So it really doesn't act as a pizza. It kind of looks like one though. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Love you. <laughs> Good night. Good night. <laughs> I was just trying it on camera, saying I made this cauliflower pizza crust. 
Don't ever do that. Lewis walked up and took a slice. I guess, I guess there's no faking. <laughs> it ain't kind of taste like pizza. <laughs> it tastes like a plant in the backyard. Like you eat a plant with jalapenos and olives on it. <laughs> no jalapenos on it. What is that, banana pepper? Uh, yeah. That's the jalapeno to me. <laughs> Everything's a jalapeno? Yeah. yeah. A pepper. <laughs> Uh, that was great. So I guess there's no fooling. Hey, you do that again, I'm going to slap your mustache <laughs> He wants you to know he's hungry. <laughs> Those are not church crackers. What does that mean, church crackers? The cracker they give you with the wine. Why do they even put the top on there? <laughs> it's just open. <laughs> what is the clip for? <laughs> I'm sure one of the children. They just put the clip on and it's clipped open. Lewis wants me to try a Vienna sausage. Made with chicken, beef, and pork. Don't worry. They mixed all of the little bits in there. And that's what I had to give it. That's how much she's willing to try. What? Oh, they can't see my plate. I didn't even say I was willing to try this. <laughs> that's how she got, she got laughing good. <laughs> <laughs> they took the world's smallest oyster cracker and put the whole sausage on top of it. Oh, that <laughs> you said it. I it's man. <laughs> it's just funny to look at it as if that was the same amount of like sausage per cracker. Laughing, he gave me this amount. He chewed. Oh no! <laughs> I chewed it. He chewed it up for me. No. <laughs> That's what it looks like. I don't think you guys can see it, but it's right there. <sighs> I'm already struggling with trying to eat this dinner. It's not. Yeah, that dinner. This is way better than that dinner. Right <laughs> <now>. <laughs> you look like a Vienna sausage. <laughs> Exact same color. <laughs> that funny, huh? It's just the exact same color. That really tickled, didn't it? <laughs> he does. He, he's wearing pink. He he's, wearing the, pink. <laughs> he's wearing the color of being a sausage today. <laughs> oh, man. We had a pretty dull day. Um, Vienna sausage. No, Vienna sausage comes in to save it. <laughs> oh, a serving is one can. High in protein, so according to Jay, it's healthy. Is it just gonna taste like a cold hot dog? It tastes better than a hot dog. My man's cold, so. I mean, I used, to, I used to eat cold hot dogs as a child. You Does it taste like bologna? Kind of, but. Oh, I don't. You it's gotta, so soft. You gotta taste it. Yeah, it's soft. No, I can taste That's it. That's why you eat it with a cracker. I can't make it feel like mush. Yeah. You said nah before you even tried it. As soon as it touched your tongue. As soon as I like got the essence of it. Yeah, it's soft. Oh, I don't know that. Maybe I would have liked it when I was younger. It was soft like I gave you just a little piece of it. The whole thing is going to be soft. We're not working towards me eating more of it. Yeah, the whole thing is going to be soft because you had it. No, because why would only the edges be soft and the inside be crunchy or what? Have you ever known someone who wanted to be taller than their mom? As bad as this kid? I'm not shrinking. Really, realistically. I mean, I'm not shrinking fast enough for you to notice it. From the last time I got measured. Okay, relax, deep breath, release, release it. Okay, not be normal, look forward. Go ahead, move. The exact same spot as last time. I don't believe it. It could be that you're stuck here. No. 
And Honestly, you want to measure that? I want to measure you. Why? That's my freaking thing right there. You were here when it happened. We're both right there, sister. 64 inches. 5 feet, 4 inches. I'm going to be taller than you. Hey, I hope you get another 10 if it makes you feel better, okay? He's so healthy on not being taller than me. But little does she know, she keeps this up, her shoe size is going to get bigger too. And then what? And then there goes her plethora of options. Out the window. Hello, love. I ended up making a creamy. I came in here to work and I just realized in this moment I forgot my laptop. So, not sure how much work I'm going to get done. Hold on, let's adjust. So, this one is... Fair Life with a banana and some like vanilla, I think. And then we crumbled some of those Catalina Crunch cookies into it. And it really, like when you mix stuff in with the creamy, it really only mixes it into like the top two thirds. So the bottom, Jaden took, and I just let him crumble his own cookie into it. But I mean, the consistency is pretty good. Like it's, you know, it's like very, it's, it's pretty ice creamy. Given that I did like the fat free Fairlife milk, so there's no fat in it. It's the fat that makes it like, you know, the fat and the sugar and all that, like it makes it so creamy. Um, I think this is still pretty good considering. We actually just ran out of those cookies. Um, we've been eating the cookies, the Catalina Crunch cookies, the cereal, and then at least one or two, I think two of the bags of the mixes have been open, like the, not trail mix, but like the snack mix, the crunchy stuff. Um, I really did end up liking the cookies. I don't even know where to buy it. But see, if I work with them, I'm gonna know where to buy it. <laughs> That's the kind of information I figure out. I like the cookies. Oh, speaking of cookies, once again, a bunch of you were like, hey, I can't even order cookies for delivery. I don't know what's going on with that. I'm gonna have to look at the website because normally you can order cookies through Girl Scouts, like through Nala's thing. You can order it for delivery like right away. So I don't know what's going on. I have to look at it. Um, you guys will have to. Normally, I'm the first person to order. But that day I was in such a rush to get all my links and everything done. I didn't go to the website to order. I just set the website up. And yeah, normally you have to. Normally I'm the first order and I place a big old order and then I just give them to people. I wish there was a way to have ice cream. But it not be this cold. Because my teeth do not like super cold stuff. And it, it makes me sad. <laughs> Cutie pie. I finished this book today. And don't worry, those of you that hate when I talk about books. It's, uh, don't worry. <laughs> because I'm not going to be talking very long. The Heiress Gets a Duke by Harper St. George. Doesn't it just sound regal? Harper St. George. <laughs> I mean, not in that accent. But like, Harper St. George? That's a dope name, bro. And I'm pretty sure it's not a bro. It's a sis. <laughs> but I don't say that. So, uh, the heiress gets a duke. Yeah, it's just about this broad here. She's the heiress. She's fine, isn't she? So she's from like a rich American family. And, but they're new money. And bleh, I don't care if you're a billionaire. If you've only had your billions for days. Like, y'all are stupid. I swear. <laughs> people were just, you know what? People are still dumb. But like, people were dumb for such different reasons back in the day. So, anyway, they're new money. And so what they need is like, an attachment to somebody that's not new money. They don't need to have money, but they need to have a name, right? So along comes this Duke who ain't got no money, but he is a Duke, right? So that works out. So anyway, he's like a little bare knuckle boxer or whatever. They end up having a little meet cute at this boxing match and yada, yada, yada. The Duke's family is broke. They need money. The girl's family needs, I don't know, what's it called? They just need someone with a title to enter the family, basically, so that they can not look like new money. Ugh. And uh, so the dude's like, cool, I'll marry your daughter. And then he's like, yeah, cool, for sure. She's yours. And then he's like, whoopsie, I meant the other daughter. Because he like she has a sister or whatever. And then he was like, whatever, literally, I don't care. Marry the other one then. Um, the hero, he's actually all right. He seems like a decent dude. He cares about her. He cares about her feelings and her having like autonomy and her having, you know, I don't know, a life. He cares about women's suffrage and he's like, I'm down with that cause, right? So he's into it, whatever. And then she is uh, 
likes him. They're kind of like doing things together pretty early on. And, but she's like, no, but I don't want to marry you, but I like you a lot. Come, like, okay, can y'all get it together? So it was just a lot of back and forth and he was a good guy. And it didn't even, it, it quit making sense why she didn't want to do it. Like, why she didn't want to marry him because she wanted to marry him. So the writing was kind of annoying and it was sent like in super old times, you know what I mean? But I, if you want to read a book like this, but a better one, I would suggest the Bridgerton series, which is also historical fiction, romance, et cetera, et cetera. Are the covers as beautiful? No, y'all definitely won the cover game. Is your name fancier? Hell yeah, Julia Quinn. Harper St. George, okay? Fancier for sure, but yeah. From what I've read, I would prefer the Bridgerton series. They are kind of similar to me. Um, but it just has more pizzazz, more, more, I don't know. It's just better writing in my opinion. So would I recommend it? Nope. I would give it like a two and a half because I was bored out of my skull trying to get through this one. So um, I'm not going to pick up any more. I'm not saying it's not for someone. If you like historical fiction, if you like some spice and everything nice and a lot of repetition because sometimes you have trouble getting the point, like she's the one for you. One of you said that, uh, Sarah, you really need a four or five star book because you keep getting duds. And that's because I am flying through my physical TBR, which is right here, baby. I'm flying through it because I refuse to go into the new year with all these books that have been on my back since 2020. I refuse. It's not happening, period. No, it's not happening. So I am going to truck my way through all of these books and it's going to make reading a chore. But don't worry, I'm not going to stop liking to read I'm just gonna like you know and I almost gave up on this one but I didn't because I was like you know what I'm not gonna give up on these books because what if they end up being amazeballs I don't freaking know so next up I'm gonna read Crying in H Mart and this is by Michelle Zauner Michelle Zauner I don't know Crying in H Mart you may or may not have heard of this book it's I've seen it a billion times it is a memoir and that's good because I need a little switch up from this other garbage I've been reading. So hopefully it's really good. I feel like I've only heard good things, but to be honest with you, I don't remember hearing anything. I just remember seeing the cover and the people that were next to the cover being generally happy. So, so there's that. But then after that, girl, I'm gonna jump into the next Bridgerton book because honestly, I need something to wash the taste of the heiress gets a duke out of my mouth. I'm actually kind of bored tonight though. Not bored, like, but I have my work done. I'm, I'm like, I'm doing okay. I have time tomorrow to like handle the things in the house. So I don't want to make myself do them tonight. Um, I do have a nail appointment first thing mañana. So we're going to get rid of these little hunty bunties. Honestly, they're still cute. And she did a bang up job because it's been three weeks, y'all. So I didn't even get these done during Vlogmas. That's how long it's been. I mean, technically I might've put it in the first Vlogmas video. I don't remember. But on my Kindle, I think I'm gonna read Longshot. I mean, I would read it just physically, but I think I'm gonna go lay in bed and it's easier to have a Kindle fall on my face than a book fall on my face. So yeah, I'm gonna read the Longshot in bed. And that, I, cause I'm not letting myself read anything that I don't physically own, period. Because there is a list of books out there. Waking Olivia by Elizabeth O'Rourke, shut up. The New Devil book, whatever, like, you know, the ones I have over here. I read the first three and I was obsessed with them. Yes, the covers are like bright, but I mean, I wish they didn't look like this. But The Devil You Know, The Devil in the Deep Blue Sea, and A Deal with the Devil by Elizabeth O'Rourke. Girl, Elizabeth O'Rourke, girl. You're killing the game, okay? I'm dying for another one of her books, but I will read my physical TBR. Don't play with me. Okay, but when our girl Danielle Laurie comes out with the fourth one in this series, did I tell you I wasn't gonna be talking about books very long? <laughs> I lied, my bad. Um, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm not sorry. I am sorry for lying, but I'm not sorry for doing this. Um, so whenever Danielle Laurie comes out with the fourth one in this series, this is a mafia romance baby this is a mafia romance and i had a blast with it sweetest oblivion i liked i really i was like okay i see you all right maddest obsession i loved i loved it i love the characters in this one i love the redemption story in this one i loved everything all of it this one the darkest temptation i liked it but it was different and he was kind of like keeping her like it was giving you know hostage and she like was a little young not like too young or anything but she was like yeah you know, i don't know but they were in russia in this one wait were they in russia i think they were in russia and so it was just different but this one 
gosh. You don't have to read one or the other, or whatever. it doesn't really matter, but I would suggest reading them in order. Um, Sweetest Oblivion and then Darkest Obsession. Oh, the Maddest Obsession. She feels the dark. He rules it. It's giving Bane energy. And I don't know if you guys know this about me, but when Tom Hardy became Bane, I became Tom Hardy's number one fan. Okay. Um, there are a lot of fellas that I think are... <laughs> Wow, right? Well, there aren't these days, but there used to be, and it used to be like Russell Crowe went ugh, after Gladiator, right? Like he did the body, the 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 brawn, all that, and then he did a beautiful mind, and then he gave us, you know, he gave us the brains in that one, the the emotional depth, the drama of a beautiful mind, like those two things together, I became the biggest Russell Crowe fan ever, right? But then he got like a little older, kind of fell off a little bit. Mm okay and then tom hardy said i'm entering the chat now and i said hey tom do the voice do the bane voice <sighs> yeah do the voice so then i became like obsessed with tom hardy um i never thought he was like physically as attractive as russell crowe but like he was like my new russell crowe and anyway why did i say all that because uh she fears the dark and he rules it. He rules it, baby. I mean, the dude in this book is not walking around with a Bane mask on or anything, but all I'm saying is Tom Hardy. Russell Crowe between the years of like uh, 1998 and like 2008. Okay, hold on, because I have both of these books on my Kindle right now. The Deal by L. Kennedy and I have Long Shot by Kennedy Ryan. Can y'all chill with these names? I actually love the name Kennedy. Okay, so if any of you are named Kennedy, just know that I'm obsessed with you. Simone St. James. See, if I had like a Saint something, Sarah St. Vargas, that's fancy. Simone St. James, Harper St. George. Like how do we get the ST thrown in front of our name? Who do we, who do I ask? What's the paperwork I gotta fill out? Cause if I could be Sarah St. Vargas, like I would kind of dig that. Ooh, like what's his face? Saint whatever in power, what was his name? Power St. James. Who was Amari Hardwick's character in power? Vincent? Here's what I found Michael? from tseriesfinale.com, a star's crime drama. James St. Patrick. Patrick. See, St. Patrick. St. Patrick. Sarah St. Vargas. I'm going to change all my socials. Sarah St. Vargas, she's coming at you. Okay, this one is what well, looks like a high school girl, and she's, I mean, a college girl, a hockey team, <laughs> professional hockey player. I've never been real big into the hockey scene. <sighs> I like the basketball scene. My favorite, though, is honestly the football scene. Like, if we're gonna read about... If we're gonna read about, like, a sport, it's gonna be one of these. You know what? Maybe I should read Blitzed. I haven't read an Alexa Martin book in, like, three years. And I read the first... No. I think I read the second one <laughs> in this series. Maybe I should read that. I don't know. So I'm gonna listen to Crying in H-Mart tomorrow. I'm sure I will get through the whole thing because it's not really that long. But I think I might go upstairs, lay in bed, get all comfy and read Blitz because honestly, I'm feeling like doing that. I might make a little snacky, refill my water and just go cuddle up in bed with my cat and read a book. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this vlog. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. We're gonna get our nails done. Jay's got a haircut, which means maybe afterwards I'll do his hair. And I don't know what else we're gonna get into. We have some errands and stuff to run, some things to return. I got an Eloquy package. I'll open that tomorrow with you guys probably. And etc. 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 So many other things. Oh, I gotta pull in the freaking delivery table thing because they do freeze overnight. Shocker. <laughs> anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.